Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Lucas here. time this is time for some PE with Mr. Lucas today I have a super fun activity for you that I think you're gonna really like it is not only going to challenge your body but it's gonna also challenge your brain because this is a bit of a puzzle it is called active Tetris and without further ado let me show you how to play here's the equipment that you're going to need for this challenge you're gonna need four different sets of items and each set has four items in it so um, this is just going to be some things that you can find around the house that you can use in an activity like this that you're allowed to use. Um, it can be really anything. Uh, here's some examples of some things that I found. You're just going to have to have four of each of them. Um, so I found four paper plates, four coffee coasters, Buffalo Bills, of course, uh, four uh, booklets of post-it notes, and four highlighters. So um, it can be anything. I'm going to give you a, a moment to go find those items and set it up just like this, four, 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 and four, so it makes a square. If possible, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself a little bit of room um, so that you can run up to this and then run back to a starting line. If you don't have that much room, don't worry about it, no problem. Um, so go ahead and press pause now, go find these items, and when you're ready, press play, and I'll tell you how to play. All right, now that you're ready to go, I'm gonna tell you how to play. A couple different ways you can choose to um, complete this challenge. You choose which way sounds the best to you. If you're playing on your own here, um, it's going to be a record setting challenge. So you're going to see how quickly you can complete the challenge and then come back later and see if you can uh, beat that time. If there's somebody else in your house that would like to play, maybe a sibling, maybe a parent, you're going to have to find some more items and set up another one of these and then you can play against each other um, and see if you can complete the challenge first. A final way you can play this is if you don't have a whole lot of items and you want to just use one of these playing areas. You and a partner could play this, and you could take turns running out um, and, and making your, your moves on the um, playing area here. I'm going to tell you how to do that in a moment. So those are your three ways. Choose which way sounds best to you. All right, so I have all my items set up here in a square. The goal of this game is to get your items, uh, four of the same items, down to this bottom row right here where the highlighters are. Once you get all four of the same items in this row right here, you can collect them, move them off to the side, and then work on collecting a different item. Your entire goal is to collect all the items, but you can't collect them. The, you cannot collect them until they are all on the bottom row. Now, once you remove a row, there's only going to be three, so you only have to get it down to the bottom one. Then, and when there's only two left, you only get to have to get it down to the bottom. And when you only have one left, they'll all be right there, and you can collect them right up. So. Whatever the bottom row is, that's the one you're trying to get all four of the same items to. Uh, so uh, next, what we're going to do to finalize and get this activity all ready to go is we're going to need to mix up all these items really, really well. Now, if you're playing on your own, just mix it up as best you can. Make it challenging for yourself. If you're playing against somebody and you have a whole other uh, station next to it, you and your partner can mix up each other's stations, mix them up really, really good, and then um, go back to your stations and play. Uh, so go ahead, press pause, mix this up, keep them in four rows, keep them in lines, um, but just mix them up. So switch them, switch them, switch them. I'll do it to mine and we'll come back together and we'll start the game in just a moment. So go ahead and press pause. Once you're all set, press play again. All right, we are all set to go. Everything is mixed up pretty well. Um, still have our four rows and still in a square. Just remember that this activity is a relay even if you're playing on your own. So you should choose a starting spot um, away from this, so a starting spot somewhere else, that you're gonna run up here, move your items, and then run back before you come up and try again or you give a high five to your partner. Um, uh, you could also add, maybe after you move your items, you do a couple jumping jacks or a couple push-ups. You decide that before you run back. Those are just some options that you can use to add to this game um, to make it more challenging if you want. Um, so here's how it works. Uh, you are trying to collect four of the same items down in this bottom row. So you got to pick an item first. If you were looking at this row right here, which item would you choose to start with first? 
The one that I'm going to choose is the Sharpies because there's already two of them there. So it gives me a little bit of an advantage. So here's what I'm going to do. I have to find a way to get these two Sharpies down to this bottom row. Here's how you do it. You can only move items one time uh, when you're up here. So when it's your turn, you come up here, you can either switch items that are um, vertical, so they're um, in a straight line this way, or you can move items that are horizontal in a line that way. So for example, you could move these two items like this, okay, because they're in a straight line, okay, or you can move these two items like this, okay? You're just switching spaces and you can do that to any of the items up here, but you only get one turn when you're up here. So you can only you can only take two items and switch them one time when you're up here before you have to run back and come back and try again. Um, so, uh, but like this, this would be diagonal, can't do that. So they can only be vertical in a straight line like this or horizontal in a straight line like this, okay? So let's do the Sharpies real fast, get them collected, and then you can go ahead and start your game. So we have two Sharpies here, we're good to go there. Let's try to get this blue one here up to the front row. So what move would you make, okay? We can only move this way or this way. So when it's my turn, I might come up here and switch these two items, okay? That got a little bit closer. I would run back to my starting line and then come out again on my next turn. And then maybe my next turn, I would switch these two. Now I have three, I have one more here. Okay, we wanna get it up to that corner. So on my next turn, I might switch these. On my next turn, I might switch these. On my next turn, here. And on my final turn, here. And now all four Sharpies are collected. I can collect them. And now we would move on to the next item on this bottom row. Which item would you choose to collect next? Okay, now that you understand how to play the game, you're up, good luck, let me know how you do.